What's up everybody, Sean Hassel here, co-founder of Beyond 40. Inside this video, I wanna share my exact 75 hard diet and how over the last 73 days, two days left till cheat day, yeah. The last 73 days, I've taken my body fat from 15% all the way down to below six. I tested today at like 5.8% body fat, as you can see right here. Now, if you're a female and you're looking at this, I'm not trying to show off, you're like, oh yeah, another guy who got abs. Pay close attention, because up on the whiteboard, I have a little column for these macros labeled K for my 61-year-old wife, Karen. Now, Karen followed along with me eating my diet because she was cooking my food, and I really, I couldn't have did it without her. I call her the water under my boat when I do this stuff, because literally, she's my support system. So she followed along, only she didn't follow the 75 hard rules. So she wasn't tracking a gallon of water every day. I know there's no way she was drinking a gallon of water because I'm in the bathroom all day, so I know. Number two, she was not avoiding cheap food. Every weekend she was still enjoying her pasta. Yes, I was very jealous. And number three, she was still enjoying her cocktails. So we had our 15th wedding anniversary. We went away for a weekend. She went to Florida. She's still enjoying her wine and her cocktails. And she still lost seven pounds in three dress sizes. Now here is a woman who loves to shop for food. It's one of the many reasons I married her and to cook. So it was really cool for once to see her get excited about going to shop for a new wardrobe because she lost three sizes following a carb cycling diet. So in my opinion, carb cycling is the superior way to lose body fat. And I'm going to share five reasons why over here on the whiteboard. But ultimately, I want you to know I'm not selling you on carb cycling because I have some diet to sell. I'm selling you on carb cycling because it works. And ultimately, the best diet that you can follow is one that you could stick to and adhere to. And that's really what it boils down to is variety and adherence. And that's why I love carb cycling. It's the number one reason. You can stick to it because you have so much variety because it doesn't eliminate entire food groups and it's easier to adhere to because you're including all macronutrients. I have a buddy, Richie, who's doing 75 hard with us. And he's miserable because he's doing intermittent keto where you use intermittent fasting with keto. He was telling me when we were out in California last weekend how much he hates it and how he feels like crap in his workouts and he can't get through his workouts. And I'm like, well, then why are you doing it? Now, with that being said, he lost 35 pounds. That's amazing. And I told him that. Do you know how much a pound of fat is? It's like this big. That's like, you lost 35 of those, dude. That is amazing. So quit beating yourself up. But why are you following a diet you hate? You don't have to do that. And that's why I love carb cycling. You don't have to eliminate all your carbohydrates or any food group for that matter. And it makes it easier to adhere to. And because you're eating carbs and not eliminating food groups, it stops adaptations. You see, anytime that you diet for more than a week, your body fights back by slowing down your metabolic rate and suppressing leptin and thyroid hormones. So by strategically carb cycling, and I'm going to tell you the protocol that we follow at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of that, and then we're going to break down the macros in the next video. Now, understanding that when you carb cycle and you intentionally have what I call carb up days, and you up your carbs on those days, you're going to speed up your metabolism and prevent it from slowing down. And you're going to reset leptin and thyroid hormones, the two hormones that regulate your body weight and your metabolism. The third reason is you'll have less cravings and less hunger. I mean, this is the death of any diet is hunger and cravings. I'm simply not hungry when I carb cycle. And it's really because of the high protein intake. Again, we'll talk more about that in the next video. Uh, number four is you don't lose muscle. This is huge. The number one pitfall of a diet is muscle loss and that's what slows down the metabolism and that's what also kicks in uh, the suppression of leptin and thyroid hormones and if you're over 40 muscle equals metabolism you should be afraid of not having enough muscle rather than having too much because the more muscle on your frame the faster your metabolism is going to run the more calories you're going to burn while you're sitting at your desk lying on your couch while you're sleeping at night so it is an awesome awesome diet because you don't lose muscle and number five is results i mean all these reasons combined right here create a synergistic effect that makes you get better results, period. Carb cycling produces superior results, hands down, in my opinion. And now, let's talk about how it works. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down the macros of Monday through Friday for me, and then for Karen, and then on the weekends for me, and then the weekend for Karen. We're gonna go over proteins, carbs, fats, and calories. So I'm gonna dive into that on the next video until then, I want you to understand that Monday through Friday, we're doing a carb deplete phase where carbs are lower, protein intake is really, really high, and fats are moderate. 
This is a fat burning diet. A fat burning phase is going to get your body adapted to using stored fat as fuel during the week. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we're going to do carb up days where we reset hormones and boost your metabolism by increasing your carbohydrate intake strategically by combining foods the right way and keeping fat intake lower on the weekends. Again, I will discuss this in the next video. So now that I preached and went on a rant about carb cycling, what's your favorite diet? Drop a comment below and let me know. I will do my best to respond and let you know if there's any pitfalls you need to overcome. And I will tell you how you should strategically add carbs to that plan so that you don't suffer from these metabolic adaptations that we talked about over here. So hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, click the like button, share it with those you love. And of course, time is our most precious commodity. I'm always grateful when people take time to watch my videos. So thank you for watching. God bless and keep going strong.